When you rub a balloon oh, on your trip. head, okay. tiny electric charges move to your body, <laughs> sure. giving you the power to zap your friends. But how big would the balloon have to be for you to make lightning? So it's not just size, you'd also need ideal dry air, no leakage, and ridiculous insulation. And considering lightning bolts discharge upwards of 30,000 amps, you're going to need a capacitor the size of a small nuclear plant. Well, if the balloon was the size of a car, it would only power a flashlight for a second. The thing is, if you're talking a nuclear plant's control room or any other room with sensitive electronics, it's not going to take much, which is why there's electrostatic discharge mats before you go in there. Oh, it to the size of a mansion. But when you start scaling up like this, it's gonna break before things get interesting. And you can actually charge your phone, but you would need a balloon the size of Earth. <laughs> okay, really? Rubbed across your head millions of times. You'd also need to somehow not explode from all of the stored energy. That's it's funny just though. Just to make a single lightning bolt. Lightning's impressive. Other problem is you're also the shortest path to ground. 